Hello everyone. The question which I want to address today is, is it still worth studying mechanical engineering in the third decade of the 21st century? Well, at the very outset, I want to make it clear that hardcore engineering departments like mechanical engineering, civil engineering and electrical engineering and a number of others, they are absolutely essential that they form the real basis of the actual infrastructure of a nation. And so from that point of view, they are absolutely worth studying. But then the thing is, in this modern day and age, people are naturally very selfish. They have been, they are self-oriented. So I do not expect that students are going to make their personal career choices based on or keeping national interests in mind. That is not going to happen. That's completely unrealistic. So people are, of course, students are, of course, going to make their personal career choices, keeping their own self-centered interests in mind. That's fine. So the real question which we want to answer here is, is it still worth studying mechanical from the point of view of personal happiness? So what I mean by that? So happiness in the context of a job, it, uh, it, it is, of course, associated with the job satisfaction. Things like, does it pay well? Do you, do you get a high salary? Do you get some kind of a job satisfaction from the point of view of the like the intellectual satisfaction, what you're doing on a day to day basis? And of course, uh, whether there is any chance for good amount of growth in your career. So uh, let's let's consider these things. Well, first of all, regarding the high pay, uh, let us not get into some of the murky details of high pay which some people have an absolutely wrong notion regarding high pay in this in the sense of growth so those things uh, there are there is completely wrong notions about it because sometimes what happens is that you get some foreign pay uh, in, in a foreign currency and people just uh, like uh, completely in a very naive and stupid way, I'm sorry to say this, they just convert it into Indian rupees and then they say it's, it's in crores uh, without uh, even thinking about the, about the purchasing power that entails uh, in the context of where they will be located. So I'm not talking about those things, but high pay in the sense, like my personal opinion of high pay is that uh, your pay should be high enough, if I have to say it's a high pay, uh, so that uh, things like price rise, uh, inflation, these kinds of things do not directly affect your day-to-day -day consumption. So you do not have to change the level of what you eat and how you live, the small luxuries of life based on these price changes, these, flux, these price fluctuations. I mean, you are aware of it, but it doesn't affect you directly. It doesn't affect your family. If that is so, then your pay is high enough. There is another thing that uh, uh, slightly more subtle that uh, your pay should be high enough. I'd, I'd say a pay is high enough if you can afford some of the common comforts of a modern life uh, and not just afford it if something goes wrong. I mean, these are uh, like engineering things, things go wrong, maybe the, the refrigerator breaks down or those things happen. Uh, if, those, if such kind of things happen, you do not have to worry uh, that, okay, again, I have to save up money to replace them. If it happens, you can address it directly. So if you, if you are in that kind of a financial situation, your pay is high enough. So I think this is a good enough definition, at least from an Indian point of view. Now, we are, of course, not talking about your pay is high enough that you can go every year on a European vacation. So not that kind of high. So uh, from this viewpoint, yes, mechanical engineering will afford you to get jobs uh, which may not be extremely high paying, but uh, it will it will enable you to live more or less such a comfortable kind of life okay but uh, as i said people are not satisfied by those things only so there's that the other thing is that uh, the intellectual satisfaction well there is a huge amount of technical like hardcore technicalities involved in uh, in a core job but there is a flip side to it also, which people absolutely have to understand is that, uh, and I will elaborate on this a little bit more. Uh, you see, mechanical engineering has been in existence since, 
I mean, if you if you really think about it, since forever, but in the modern form, at least for 150 years, 200 years. Let's say, I mean, if if, if you have if you have to draw a line, let's say um, the the Industrial Revolution. Okay, it's a very very rough kind of estimate, but let's say 150 years, 200 years. So uh, during this process, it has matured a lot. Now, the the absolutely the modern and the cutting edge kind of engineering that is there that goes on you really have to know a lot to be able to contribute meaningfully to that which means that if you have done only your bachelor's in mechanical engineering or maybe civil engineering you will be able to do some kind of technical job but it will not be at that high level which may perhaps give you a kind of intellectual satisfaction which is associated with some kind of really creative work okay you just do not have that knowledge just after four years of a bachelor's to be able to contribute at that level every engineering firm understands this and please understand that a hardcore engineering firm in these domains mechanical civil electrical those kinds of things are uh, they involve uh, stuff on which people's lives may be at stake it is not a website okay uh, i mean of course if a website breaks down like a banking website then it can cause uh, like tremendous hardship like loss of property loss of wealth uh, but it directly doesn't affect anyone's life like nobody dies directly because if a website fails or if some kind of a uh, on an application fails uh, but if a mechanical engineering system fails, if a civil engineering system fails, it can directly cause people's death. So the, the fact that you do not have sufficient experience is actually a thing to be really, really careful about. So you'll not be directly allowed to work on certain things just after a master's degree. Um, regarding growth, well, because it is such a mature thing, um, there is a tremendous amount of growth possible because there is so much uh, like a verticality involved in the technology. Uh, you start very low. Uh, if you keep on grinding and if you keep on getting involved with higher and higher levels of technology and if you can, uh, if you can upgrade your education, um, maybe by going th through a master's program, then certainly you can rise higher up in the technical ranks. That is absolutely possible and that can be a source of immense satisfaction also. Now, there is some, something, uh, well, I have, to, I have to say it as a negative point, is that, uh, see, when you start out in these kinds of very traditional classical fields, uh, mechanical, civil, uh, as a very low-level engineer, uh, without the proper experience then necessarily you will be assigned to those kinds of roles which are kind of maintenance as i've already said you will never be asked to design something from scratch i mean there may be very few exceptions to these but this is the general norm without the experience you'll always be confined to some kind of a maintenance kind of thing or some kind of routine things now uh, in most firms the maintenance kind of work is not very attractive it's grind work okay but you cannot go to a higher rank without going through that uh, without going through that grind work there is also the other thing that uh, the computer science technology it is not very old so there is a lot of opportunity for a starter uh, for for a person who has just finished his bachelor's to contribute some amount i mean contribute significantly more creative work compared to a mechanical engineering uh, beginner guy. Uh, I have not touched upon a certain point, which is that if you go to a good enough college, maybe the IITs, uh, even the NITs, then uh, mechanical engineering graduates, I know this for a fact, uh, because I'm in one, uh, they end up in quite high paying jobs like really high paying jobs impressive jobs but they are not in the hardcore domain uh, these are intelligent guys various kinds of firms non-engineering firms they realize this and they take these uh, guys in various kinds of non-engineering roles 
uh, pays absolutely fabulous in those kinds of things. Maybe in consultancy, maybe in finance, where they just need some smart people. Uh, now, don't ask me what is the basis of this. Shouldn't they be taking some kind of a finance major or an economics major for those kinds of jobs? I don't know what goes on through their mind. They need smart people. They get the smart people from uh, the various departments, irrespective of the departments, and they're fine with it. So mechanical engineering guys do end up getting fabulous jobs. Uh, at least the placement statistics here in our department are quite good. Okay. The question which I want to go back to is, is if the, if the uh, technology is really so very mature in mechanical engineering, is there really some kind of an opportunity for uh, creative work? So, uh, so here I'm trying to go a little bit from the hardcore engineering job to maybe the research and development side. And uh, it is true. Okay, so there has been so much work done over the last 150 years, 200 years, that in order to be able to do something creative, you necessarily have to do your masters. And if you really have to reach the highest level, the absolute cutting edge level, then you have to do your PhD. Okay, so uh, there you have it. This is the this is the stark truth. Uh, and I have seen uh, PhD students after 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 doing their defense, they do get absorbed in these uh, in the in the research divisions of very hardcore engineering firms. So. Uh, what what kind of opportunities are there in mechanical engineering uh, at the absolute cutting edge level? So some people uh, may be thinking that mechanical engineering is ultimately IC engines, internal combustion engines. That is patently not true. It is a very important component, but that is not all there is to it. Uh, in the cutting edge uh, or at the cutting edge, me mechanical engineering involves a lot of uh, or it has a contribution uh, in a lot of interdisciplinary areas, for example, in biomedical engineering. Uh, you cannot imagine the kind of innovative and exciting things that are there uh, that a hardcore mechanical engineer has to do uh, to, uh, uh, to really bring up the technology in the biomedical or the bioengineering field. Similarly, in areas like uh, soft robotics, in areas uh, involving various kinds of electrochemical and uh, electrochemical uh, mechanical systems and certainly and the more traditional electromechanical systems, uh, mechanical engineers have a tremendous role to play. Similarly, there is a lot of opportunities in, um, in developing various kinds of innovative things for the defense industry. Uh, even in the traditional areas, suppose an engineering firm has to set up, has to be set up, an industry has to be set up, uh, in those kinds of situations, even if you do not have to go for any kind of interdisciplinary thing, the very fact that in a completely new environment, uh, uh, you have to set up something completely new, it means that uh, the, the, the traditional knowledge has to be applied in a very, very innovative way uh, in, a, in a new environment. And that, that calls for a lot of expertise, a lot of uh, like cutting edge thinking uh, in this modern day and age. So unless you get into those kinds of nitty gritty details, you will not be able to appreciate the, the level at which this, uh, this real engineering game is played. But then again, as a beginner, you may not be able to uh, be involved in those things. Uh, you will need to go through the grind to, to pick up that experience. So. Uh, to circle back to that original question, is it worth studying mechanical engineering? You see, my answer is yes. Okay, you may think that I have been myself a mechanical engineering student. I am now a mechanical engineering faculty at IIT Kharagpur. So of course, I'm going to say yes. But uh, I have pointed out certain negative aspects of it. And the most negative aspect, if you really want to call it negative, is that uh, the if you have to do something creative, you have to first gather the experience. So you have to have the patience to learn. You have to have the humility to learn from others, to build up that experience level, to reach a certain point in your career so that you start 
are contributing in a very creative fashion. If you, if you think that from day zero, you are going to be able to uh, uh, come up with fantastic engineering solutions on your own, it doesn't happen like that. This is not a computer program that you can just write up on your own, get a result and uh, be fancy about it. Like hardcore engineering involves setting up uh, things which are a mature reflection of a long legacy uh, of development. In order to contribute to that, you have to work as part of a very large team dealing with very, very hard and concrete things, which uh, uh, involves a lot of investment of money, time and effort. Like you as an individual engineer will not be able to say that I own this engineering system. It doesn't happen like that. It's always a collective ownership. So anything serious, anything which is meaningful, anything which is substantial, you can be very much a part of it if you study mechanical engineering, but then you will have to have that patience, that humility and that maturity to be able to really understand that yes, this is an engineering system, this is this is hardcore, concrete, and this is something you're going to build which will last for years and years. And finally, a, a word uh, of advice is that uh, if you're a school student uh, and you love mechanics and physics, there is no reason for you not to take up mechanical engineering. But at the same time, it comes with a warning that when you were relatively young and you have not been exposed to various temptations in life, it is very easy to think that yes, you love mechanical and that you love mechanics and physics and therefore mechanical engineering is the right choice for you. And maybe you get swayed by uh, some of your elders saying things like mechanical engineering is evergreen, therefore you must take it and you do end up taking it. Um, I think you need to have some second thoughts about it also. Because when you, as you keep on growing up and you see people around you, uh, maybe studying for four years and then getting for, and then going for some kind of a fabulous job, uh, maybe if they're from some other uh, department, like a circuital department, uh, that initial love for mechanics and physics may not be strong enough for you to, to maybe ditch your department. Okay. So many people suffer through these kinds of disillusionments many many students suffer through this okay because ultimately when it comes to doing something which you absolutely love the core values which are there inside you that will come to the forefront okay i am turning a little bit philosophical here but this is we are talking about life and career here so i have to be a little bit like this um so uh, and and see we are uh, a lot of us uh, in, in in India we are from a middle class background where what others say influence our thinking and our decision making a lot so if if you are prone to those kinds of influences then uh, please understand that maybe you have to upgrade your maturity uh, or maybe you have to end up doing something else which you originally do not love. Uh, so my answer to the question, is it worth studying mechanical? Is of course, yes, a capital letter, yes, Y-E-S, but uh, with certain caveats and certain subtleties. Okay, so my only hope is that uh, if you're a young student who, have, who has already taken up mechanical, uh, maybe having second thoughts about it uh, don't be too worried okay don't be too worried there are always job opportunities here and if you are a school student who is thinking of taking a mechanical or maybe maybe getting encouraged to take up mechanical uh, think about it whether uh, you'll be able to maintain your love and go through the grind of uh, really building up your experience because Ultimately, when you're over a certain curve, over a certain point, uh, you will be able to do something absolutely fabulous and exciting. Okay, so there you have it. So thank you very much and all the best.